Hello dear students, I am Ms. Tanvi and just as last year, I will be taking your English along with English grammar. Now, you guys have passed the last year studying the in online education, the live classes and the videos. It was a new thing. Unfortunately, the schools have not reopened yet. So, we will have to continue with it. But now, you guys are comfortable with it. So let's start with the first chapter in, in English. It is Unit 1, The World of Colors. Just like last year, in this year also all the units will have around 10 activities. And each activity, will there might be some story, some poem or some activities where you have to do something. So in this chapter, The World of Colors, we will be studying the story, The Quarreling Colors, a poem, Paints by Elo Orleans and a passage about how the company who manufactures colors like crayons and all the different kinds of colors that we get, how do they come up with the names of different colors. So we'll be doing everything one by one along with certain activities where you have to participate and give your input. So let's start with Activity 1, The Quarreling Colors, Part 1. Activity 1, The Quarreling Colors. Well, we know the colors and we also know that the whole world is colorful. Imagine everything in black and white, not just your TV or cell phone but everything. Mm, even the thought feels dull or kind of sad. It's the colors that makes a life joyful. Now if the colors had a life and they can talk, which one will be the chief or the most important? Let's find out. Long long ago, the colors in the rainbow started to quarrel. To quarrel means they had an angry argument and none of them were agreeing with each other. Each color thought it was the most important color of all. Violet said, I am the color of humility and wisdom. I am the most important. Violet has always been the color of royalty. Kings chose it as a sign of wisdom, and people always listen and obey the wise. Hence, as kings are important, so does Violet. Indigo spoke softly, I am the color of silence. You need me for peace and prayer. I am the most important one. Silence. It represents thought. We need it for prayer and inner peace. Without peace, everything is superficial. Blue interrupted. I am the color of water. Water makes up life. Without me, you will be nothing. Now think of the sky and the ocean. Water makes up life drawn up by the clouds into the blue sky. It's impossible to live without it. Green said, I am the color of nature. That is why I am the best. Clearly, it is the most important color. Green is the sign of life. It was chosen for grass, leaves and trees. When we look at nature, we feel that green is the best. Yellow smiled. I bring warmth to the world. The sun, the moon and the stars are all yellow. Yellow, the color of fun, laughter and warmth. Without yellow, there will be no fun and everything will be serious. Orange laughed, 
I am the color of courage. Surely, I am the best. Orange, the color of courage, the color of sacrifice. It is scarce, but the sky fills with it during sunrise and sunset. Red shouted, I am the sign of strength and authority. Red, the blood of life, the color of danger and of bravery. It fights for a cause and brings fire and passion and love. And so all the colors went on quarreling, each convinced of their own superiority. Soon their fighting became louder and louder. So that was activity one, where we started with the story and we know that the colors are quarreling, they are arguing. Here, it's a time for intermission or interval. Now, in activity two, you have to answer, what colors have you seen in the story so far? I had given you this thing in Google Forms where you have to give your answer, but very few students have done. So you can do that again. You will know the answer that the colors seen in the story were the colors of the rainbow. You know them like violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Which color do you like best? From the given seven colors, you have to write your favorite color and make a list of things you have seen in your favorite color. Like suppose if your favorite color is red, then which colors, uh, which things have red color which things are in red color you have to make a list of these things so this is an activity which we will do in the live class but you have to note down your answers we will discuss the answers during live class but the homework is that you have to answer these Ask all your classmates about their favorite colors. What colors do your classmates like? Make a chart showing all the colors that classmates like best. Count how many classmates like each color. Again, this activity we will be doing during live class. When I ask you about your favorite colors, we will be noting about your classmates colors, favorite colors as well. Like favorite color of classmate. Violet and the number of classmates who like violet. Indigo, the number of classmates who like indigo. Same way for all the different colors. And after that, we will be doing the next activity, which is also related to this one. So let's see what that is. Activity 3. Look carefully at your chart. After we have finished writing, recording everybody's answers, we'll be doing this. Was there any color in the rainbow that no one in your class liked? Which color was that? We'll get this answer after the chart is finished. If the any color has zero, that will be your answer. Which color did the most people like and how many people liked that color? The color that most people like is the most popular color. The color which is favorite of all, which majority of the students like. That will be the most popular color. The number, the color which has highest number of students who have marked them as favorite. Which color did the fewest people like and how many people liked that color? The color that fewest people like is the least popular color. The color which is not zero, but which has the lesser number than any others, which has the least, that will be the least popular color. Is your favorite color one of the most popular colors or a less popular color? This also we will be saying like if you noted your color as red and uh, then we will check that is does that color belong to the most popular one or the less popular ones 
Again, this activity we will be doing during the live class. Suddenly there was thunder and lightning and it began to rain heavily. The seven colors, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red all heard the angry voice of the rain. You stupid foolish colors, why are you fighting among yourselves? Don't you know each of you is important? The lightning stopped and the thunder quieted. The rain said, listen to me, each of you has a special purpose. When I stop the storm, you must all hold hands and help each other. You will help each other stretch across the sky to make the rainbow. The rainbow is a special sign. It shows that if we all work together and help each other, even with our differences, we will all shine. The colors understood their mistake. The storm ended and the colors happily joined hands. And from then, whenever a good rain washes the world, the rainbow appears in the sky, reminding us to appreciate one another. So in today's homework, you have to read the story again and write these meanings once. Quarrel, an angry argument or disagreement. Humility, the quality of not thinking that you are better than other people. Interrupt, to say or do something that makes somebody stop what he or she is saying or doing. So students, did you enjoy the story? Just like the colors, we all have to work together and help each other. Only then we will all shine. In the next class, we will start with other activity. Feel free to ask if you have any doubts. Enjoy your stay at home and be safe.